The KSN 770 features a digital Navcom radio derived from the Bendix King Apex system. It's a software-based radio that includes touchscreen tuning, nav radio auto-tune, stored frequencies, and simple entry of frequencies for the nearest airports, air route traffic control centers, flight service stations, and nav aids. Yet with all these options, tuning the radios can also be accomplished by just turning a knob. In this video, you'll discover the answers to frequently asked questions about operating the communication and navigation radios. The radio controls are displayed at the top left and bottom left of the display. These areas are always visible, whether you're using the multifunction display or the flight management system. The radios are always controllable via the first touch of the interactive touchscreen, without having to first activate the screen. The COM radio is the default radio for controlling and tuning. The selected radio for controlling and tuning is enunciated below the active frequency and also to the right of the volume knob. The non-selected radio is enunciated, along with its active frequency, at the top of the display. To select the other radio, push the radio control knob. The magenta annunciator above the knob indicates what pushing the knob will do. You can also switch radios by touching the non-selected radio's active frequency enunciation at the top of the display. After 30 seconds without any input to the nav radio, the COM radio will automatically become the selected radio again. The COM radio is the default radio for controlling and tuning. The VHF channel spacing can be toggled between 8.33 kHz and 25 kHz on page 5 of the menu. To change the active COM frequency, you must first enter the new frequency as the standby frequency, and then swap it with the active frequency. You can change the standby frequency using either the radio control knob or the interactive touch screen. To tune the standby COM frequency using the radio control knob, Rotate the outer knob to adjust the megahertz frequency digits to the left of the decimal point. Rotate the inner knob to adjust the kilohertz frequency digits to the right of the decimal point. To tune the standby COM frequency using the interactive touchscreen, touch the standby frequency touchscreen button to display the radio tuning pop-up window. Type in the desired frequency. As you type, only valid frequency values will be selectable. If you make a mistake, touch the backspace key. When the correct frequency is displayed, press OK. To quickly enter the frequency for a nearest airport, touch the standby frequency touchscreen button, then press the nearest bezel soft key. The nearest frequencies box is displayed. Make sure the airport soft key is selected. Drag the scroll bar or rotate the joystick knob until the desired airport is highlighted. To display a pop-up list of all the frequencies available for the highlighted airport, touch the highlighted line or push the joystick knob. Scroll the airport frequency list by touching and dragging the scroll bar or rotating the joystick knob. Then select a frequency by touching it. The selected frequency becomes the standby frequency. You can enter the frequency for a nearest air route traffic control center or flight service station in the same way. Just press the ARTC or FSS soft keys. Instead of manually entering a frequency or selecting a nearest frequency, you can select a saved frequency. To access the stored channeling list, touch the standby frequency then press the channel soft key. Use the scroll bar or joystick knob to select a frequency. You can add, edit, and delete stored frequencies by pressing the edit soft key. To exit, press the back soft key. To 
adjust the volume of the comm radio. First, rotate the volume knob or press the comm volume touchscreen button. The comm radio pop-up window will be displayed, showing the current volume level. Then, either rotate the volume knob or touch and drag the volume indicator. To toggle the comm radio's squelch state from mute to unmute, push the volume knob. When automatic squelch is inactive, SQ is enunciated beneath the active comm frequency. When the communication system is receiving, a green R is displayed below the active frequency. When the system is transmitting, a green T is displayed. To change the selected radio from COM to NAV, push the radio control knob. Note the magenta Push for NAV enunciation above the knob. You can also change the selected radio from COM to NAV by touching the NAV radio's active frequency enunciation at the top of the display. The navigation radio is tuned and controlled in the same way as the COM radio, with just a few differences. When the NAV radio is selected, the only nearest frequencies available are the nearest VORs. When the audio received from a tuned localizer or VOR is sufficient and the navigation identifier is set to ON, the NAVAID identifier is displayed under the standby frequency. When the audio is not sufficient, the identifier field is blank. To toggle the navigation identifier ON and OFF, when the NAV radio is selected, push the volume knob. When the navigation identifier is set to OFF, the ID enunciation under the active frequency is removed, and ID OFF is enunciated beneath the standby NAV frequency. If configured, the KSN770 will auto-tune the NAV radios for ILS and localizer approaches, when an ILS or localizer approach is inserted into the flight plan, the standby NAV frequency is tuned to the ILS or localizer frequency. The standby NAV frequency is then automatically set to the active NAV frequency when certain conditions are met.